guys, so first of all, my um, microphone battery died and I don't have another 9 volt. So, going back to internal mics. Yeah. Anyway, um, I've been traveling, not like long distances, but like going places for like short periods of time a lot lately and I will be moving hopefully soon in the next like month or so. So I thought I would do a little what is in my travel makeup bag video because that's a thing that people do to overshare and shit. And it's fall and I have some new products that I have put in my makeup bag that I like to take with me and I like to use on a daily basis. So this is kind of like everyday shit that I just like keep with me. And yeah, I have like the jankiest makeup bag like, this, this has been chewed off by not the dog I have now, but by my old dog, the one that died a year and a half ago. It's so dirty, it's so disgusting. I'm not even gonna show you what's in here. Well, I'm gonna show you what's in here, but I'm not gonna like show you inside of it, you know? Foundation. Bare Minerals Original Foundation. My Real Techniques, what brush is this? Powder brush. <laughs> I was like, what brush is it? It says it literally on the label. Feels so nice. If I were to make any of those like face brushing videos for ASMR, this is a brush I would use. Do you guys watch those? For concealer, I always use my Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in number one fair, because I'm super pale and I never change it. Not for spring, summer, fall, winter. I'm always the same paleness. But with that uh, concealer, I keep my Real Techniques uh, Deluxe Crease Brush. This was in like the eye set. No, this was in like the basics set thing. I think it was the eye basics. I don't remember. Concealer. Always keep in my bag because I don't get a lot of sleep because I'm a grown-up that procrastinates and Tumblr exists. An eyeshadow base. Um, I've been using Max Painterly Paint Pot a lot lately. I used to use the Urban Decay Primer Potion all the time, but that thing got really really old and I felt like I needed to toss it out because it was like legit like four years old which is kind of gross, like putting something that old on your eyeballs. So I've really been liking this one and it works really well. I don't get a ton of creasing with it, um, so I dig it. Eyeshadows and eyeliners. Um, I've been keeping my MAC uh, four pan palette that I made myself uh, with me all the time. I've been using these shadows almost every single day. Sometimes I'll use stuff from my Stila palette, but um, this is pretty much what I've been wearing. And then um, this little double-ended Urban Decay eyeliner brush. This one was the Naked Basics eye pencil duo thing. It has, what's this color? Venus and Crave. Crave's just like a deep ass brown color. So those are the colors that are in there. And then if I'm feeling adventurous and want to take more time, I'll keep a liquid eyeliner. And this one is Extreme 24 Hour Felt Tip Liner from Collection. Another one I got from a subscriber. Thank you, subscriber. Um, and that's that guy. The tip isn't nearly as thin as the Stila one, but it's a bit stiffer. Like, it doesn't move as much. I'm gonna have specs. Hey, it's like modern art. That's weird. So I keep those for my eyes in my travel makeup bag all the time. Booyah. For eyeshadow, all the eyeshadow, I just use my um, Real Techniques base shadow brush. It's fluffy enough to where I can blend shit and also dense enough to where I can just pat shit. Multitasking. For blush, uh, I'll keep whatever blush I'm using that day or what I'm into using. Lately I've been using Nars Du Sur which is like one of my favorite go-to blushes. I'm close to hitting pan, I believe. I don't know. This one's super pigmented for how like bland the color is. I mean like, it's like a brown. I wanna work through it just so I don't have it like really, really old. Cause I don't wanna like save really old shit. I mean, I'm a hoarder, but I'm not that much of a hoarder. So my blush, I actually apply with the Real Techniques blush brush. I fucking love Real Techniques brushes. They're the best, they're the best that impress, lest I forget, what a mess. Again, another reference that only like three people are gonna get. Down to the last few things. Um, these are actually some new additions to my makeup collection, um, and they're both from Ico. I was really, really curious about the Ico mascara because Alexa Chung did a thing with Ico, and I was like, I love Alexa Chung, so. <laughs> and then the brow liner, which is just like a waterproof, more modern art. There we go. 
So there's that color. It's like a universal uh, waterproof brow liner thing. It takes a little bit longer than using like a shadow and uh, my gel, but it's smaller. So I don't actually have to bring like a brush and a brow gel and an eyeshadow. So this is really nice for travel just because it's one quick thing. The mascara I've actually been really, really in love with. Um, I read the ingredients on the box, which are actually relatively natural. Like the one of the first ingredients is beeswax. Like that's cool. Um, and it comes in a squeezy tube, but it's not one of those like squeezy tubes that are just lying that look like squeezy tubes. It actually squeezes. Like, revolutionary, right? So you don't have, like, chunks of mascara just, like, dried up on the side, so you're able to, like, get it all out of there. And it stays nice and wet. The brush, it's pretty, like, uniform all the way around. Um, but this feels so light weight. But you still get the same amount of product as you would in, like, a regular mascara tube. But it feels super light. Like, it's not, like, a really bulky, excess packaging type mascara. And you know how much I hate excess packaging. <laughs> I hate excess packaging. And then for lipsticks, um, I like to keep two just in case I'm like bored and want to do something darker or something more neutral. Granted, the two I have in my bag right now are like the opposite of neutral. The one I'm wearing right now, actually, it's called Sebastian. It's from OCC. It's one of their lip tars from last fall's collection. It's legitimately a taupe color, but I actually love it. This wears really well, and they come up with really unique colors. They have a lot of cool products, and uh, they're not that expensive for how much product you get, too, which is great. Does that look weird? It's super grungy because fashion. And then the other lip color I actually have in my bag right now is one that I've worn a lot, um, and that is Nars Volga, which is like my favorite, like burgundy wine color. I'll do that too. I'll just have s the most modern art. Ooh, I'll crisscross it. That looks cool. It's that color. This actually doesn't look that weird. It's a pure matte lipstick from NARS, and uh, I believe this was like 26, so it's definitely not cheap. It doesn't look like there's a lot of product, but you barely need anything for it actually to like show up. Like that was one swipe. Um, I actually did a blog post about this, and then I did a blog post about the Ico products on the blog that I'll post a link to that you can watch, not watch, read. Uh, so that is what I keep in my travel makeup bag. I'll actually put them all back because I'm gonna need them tomorrow. So let me know what are your like travel makeup bag essentials. I know some other people bring like a shit ton of stuff, but I haven't been able to find a nicer bag. So I've been kind of just secluded to that size and uh, I'm getting a little bit more on the creative bandwagon. Thank you guys for your requests and your questions. Keep leaving them because I will be doing a Q and A relatively soon. I didn't want to talk about this, but I feel the need to talk about it just for a little, little bit. Today's song of the day is Marching Bands of Manhattan by Death Cab for Cutie. So Chris Walla played his last show with Death Cab for Cutie at Rifflandia Festival up in Victoria this weekend. And somebody recorded that song, it was the last song of their set, Marching Bands of Manhattan, and I watched it like four times over yesterday, and I literally cried. <laughs> like I feel a lot of feelings about bands, and when it's a band that has been a part of my life for half of it at least, uh, not that they're breaking up, but like Chris Walla is like a huge part of that band, so it's like just like a, it's like something just died, something left. I'm really bad at coping with that shit. What am I gonna do when they actually break up or when people start dying? Like, I'm gonna be the worst person. In honor of Chris Walla, today's song of the day is Marching Bands in Manhattan by Dead Cat for Cutie. And I will actually post a link to that video below if you wanna cry along with me because it was really emotional. I'm in my pajamas and it's one in the morning. Um, one of the many perks about having lighting is that you can film any time of the day, especially when neighbors aren't mowing the lawn. Also, I feel like I'm the most creative at like one in the morning. I literally stopped at a coffee shop the other day at 1.30 in the morning to say hello to the cute barista. And we talked about music and he was playing Pickway from his iPod and I was like, what? So I might make him a mix CD the next time I go after hours. And then somebody on Twitter suggested that I put my number in the track list and I was like, I don't know if I'm smooth enough for that, but that's really fucking smooth. <laughs> Wish me luck on that endeavor and I will see you guys on Thursday. Bye. What?